Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimbird, and welcome back for another Minecraft snapshot. This is 13W23A for Friday, June 7th. And uh, today we've got a few updates. It's a lot of stuff changes to uh, food, how that works, a bunch of potions, there's a new game rule, and a new command. So let's get into it. And these all have a common factor, and that is because Dinnerbone was playing Ultra Hardcore, uh, the game that's a mod and a plugin for servers that kind of makes the game a lot harder. But he's instituted a lot of changes to vanilla to kind of reflect that. Now, they've been working on the resource pack a lot recently, so until that's done, there probably won't be as many new features. But I will go into them very quickly here, and then I'll go into the command and the game rule that are kind of interesting. Now, the first big change is that golden apples, the standard variety, had their recipe change from using gold nuggets to using gold ingots now. So they're a little more expensive to make, and they actually recover... A bit of health for you uh, like a, li a little less it's about one heart I think in regen before they're done uh, the glistening melons that are used for I believe the healing potions are uh, also changed a little bit instead of one gold nugget you need eight for that the, the uh, super golden apple has the same recipe this is to make it a bit harder to craft the potions that you need to heal and that is to reflect the new game rule which I can show you here the game rule is, bum, bum, bum. let's go through all these, there's a lot of them, and then the last one is the new one, natural regeneration. It is by default set to true, but I can set it to false, and I can show you exactly what it does. If I was to change my game mode back and fall, uh, I do have most of my hunger, but even if I eat, I will not regenerate health, even if I have full hunger. That is because when you use the natural regeneration set to false, you have to use potions or golden apples to recover, which is part of the ultra hardcore uh, game setting that uh, is pretty popular. So Dinnerbones kind of reflected that and lets you do that in vanilla if you want. But by default, this game rule is set to false, so you don't have to worry about that for the most part. And, uh, oops, there we go. I think, uh, no, I have to turn it to true, that's what I was doing. There we go. It's set to true by default. And uh, now I should recover normally. And some of the other changes, like I mentioned, potions are more important in the Ultra Hardcore game mode. So he has changed those around a bit. Uh, there's a 33% nerf on potions of healing. Uh, these are the new ones. Uh, the normal potion of healing will heal two hearts. And the second level of that will heal four hearts. They used to heal three hearts for the first one and six hearts for the second one. So they've got a 33% nerf. And then also the potion of regen is a bit slower. And I think I can just go back into survival to show you that. It's a 50% speed nerf. And if I was to drink this, you can kind of see that. It regenerates quite a bit slower. So if you're going to rely on this to fight a wither or you know, save yourself from cave spiders or whatever monsters, it's going to be a little tougher now because it will regenerate slower. Some of these are going to be default for vanilla, it seems, unless we get some changes and some complaints before 1.6 comes out. But other parts, like the game rule, that is something that you guys get to decide, or the server owner gets to decide if that's actually going to be part of it. Now, the other really cool command here, this will help for people with team sports, it is the spread players command, and here is the format for it. It looks a bit complicated, but it's not too bad. Uh, basically, you're going to choose a point, and right here on this beacon is the point I'm going to choose. It's negative 17 and 193. So I would do spread players, negative 17, 190, oh, it was 196, sorry. And then you want to do spread distance. So if I only want people to spread about 10 blocks between them or so, that could make it very short. And then max range is going to be how far they spread. I'll do like 30 blocks. Respect teams, you can do true or false. So if you have a bunch of people on different teams, it will group teams together uh, and not worry about having to separate team members. And then you put the players that you're going to put in. And right now you can't tab it in, but I can do that. And then push bam, and it will teleport me. So I am at max, uh, about 30 blocks away, I think is what I put, yeah. And uh, there we go, minimum 30 blocks apart, or whatever. So yeah, it, it spreads you around within an area, with the center being the point that you choose. So this will help if you want to do like Hunger Games on a vanilla server, or stuff like that. A lot of team sports, you don't have to have people positioned in a certain way. You can just randomly distribute them. So yeah, that is most of what we got. It's a new game rule, new command, all that stuff, and a lot of changes. Now, ooh, the one last thing I wanted to mention, saturation. Now, this is not something that uh, most people think about when they play Minecraft. Now, saturation 
if you think about it, in real life, if you eat a piece of steak, you are going to be full for longer, most likely, than eating a piece of watermelon, and that carries over into Minecraft. So saturation is uh, basically how long before you you need to eat again, because it's like how filling that food was. So if I had eaten a big thing, I had like a steak or whatever, I have more saturation, then I don't, my health, my uh, hunger won't go down as fast. But that is actually going to be a big factor now in the game, and more evenly distributed. So like, right now, I've got a bit of health missing if I jump off a cliff, bam. And as you can see, I have, I have my health, my food already going down, so I need to eat something. And this is going to heal me, but first it will take the saturation points away, and then it will start taking food points away. So originally it was like you're, you uh, used up your saturation and then your, your food went away. It didn't really affect it as much, but now it's like if I eat a, a melon, which has a fairly small uh, amount of saturation, it's like 1.2. If I eat a few melons, it's going to draw from that 1.2 first, so see it's healing my health for a little bit. And then I believe before it gets all the way to the top, it'll start taking my little food shanks away because it went through the saturation and now it's going to need to steal my little shanks to heal me the rest of the way. And let's see if it does so. I did eat several melons. There we go. So that it healed a certain amount of hearts and now you can see it'll go down half for each half. So there goes half and then here comes another half. Bam. Oh, it actually didn't go all the way down. Well, basically, that <laughs> it might not be perfect yet, because I wasn't able to predict it perfectly, but yeah. So, the idea is that uh, if you eat a big meal, it will draw from how, you know, how, how much time you have left before you are hungry to heal you, before it starts drawing from your actual hunger bar itself. So, it's a little easier to gauge, like, how much you're going to need to eat to heal yourself. So, I think that's actually a good change but it might be a little tougher in the meantime because it's going to take your saturation away, so you might need to eat sooner, basically. But I'm all for that. I need, I like things that make the game a little tougher. I think the game is fairly easy as it is, even on hard difficulty. So I like these changes. Tell me what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of people aren't... Whenever they nerf or change the already existing features in the game, people tend to complain, so I'm sure uh, there's a lot of you that probably don't like these changes. Me, personally, I... I almost never used golden apples unless I was maybe curing villagers and I didn't really make as many po potions since most of the things in the game you can fight without some of this stuff so it's not a huge deal but it does make the game a bit tougher uh, to survive in so I'll see what you guys think about that thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this hopefully we'll be getting 1.6 pretty soon they said May originally obviously that didn't happen I wasn't thinking it was going to uh, I'm thinking maybe by the end of June, the resource pack seems to be the last big thing that they want to get done for 1.6 before they're ready to get it out, because that's going to be a major thing so that we can do sound packs and music packs if we choose. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time, hey little chicken, for more uh, Minecraft snapshots. Goodbye.